Hi, I'm Sam Cronin, and I've lived in Qatar for the past five years. Qatar is a rich developing country in the Middle East, and because of its rate and amount of development, many workers are employed from foreign countries to contribute. With so many well-educated, usually Western expats, such as my parents, taking the higher position jobs, the less educated workers, largely from the developing world, are left to take the lower position roles. In the pearl of Africa, like many others, I come across many of these less fortunate people in my everyday life, and I have often wondered what it must be like for them. It was these thoughts that led me to write a song and produce this film about my friend Moses. I'm Moses Ochaya. I'm from Uganda in East Africa. I have a wife and three children back home, but I'm currently working as a security guard for the college in Qatar so as to earn decent living. But home is best for a good life He had to say goodbye What I experienced in Qatar is that the climatical conditions are harsh I also find it quite tiresome as I work long hours But Qatar is a beautiful country And because there is not very much work in my country It's good for me to be here Places like Qatar needs people like me, and people like me need places like Qatar. Set apart from this country to the city of love. I'm always thinking about my family because they are a thousand miles away, and I always see them for two months after work for two years. Don't worry, be happy, because everyone loves us but above all, my duty is to my family, and I'm only here to earn for them. I have stayed here for a little more than two years now, working mostly every day, for 12 hours, making sure the school and all the children are safe as Middle East always prepare for the worst due to political instability in some of the Middle East countries. He's the one who guards the gates. He's a schoolboy superhero and he... I only wish that the work here was made more comfortable for people like me and that there was maybe minimum wage or something so the salary was better. It would be perfect if my family could stay with me here as well, so that I don't wake up every day missing them so much. For an African father, three years can seem a while. Now my responsibility is to my children, and my ambition is to see that they have better life than me. I really hope that when I have earned enough money during work here, I can go back home and use the money to start a small business so that at least I can earn a living and always be with my family. Like I say, east and west, but home is the best. We hold our hands up and we pray to the sky. Whilst many people are quick to criticise developing countries like Qatar, it is important to understand that developing doesn't just refer to the infrastructure, but the socio-political environment as well. I hope that in time, Qatar will soon harness its great wealth and use its motivation to be seen by the world as not just a wealthy country, but as an even more just country. But most of all, one of the great things I've learned from Moses about people in his situation, something I feel is lacking in the West, is the strength and peace-mindedness they bring from their African culture. For he is strong with sound and song, he's a child of the Nile.